This afternoon we're going to talk about how you pimp up your rucksack when you're on the flats to carry a second rod and also to have a camelback or some kind of uh, water hydration pack installed. It's a question I get asked a lot. So let's get into it. Carrying a second uh, rod on the back of your shoulder while you're wading across the flats is one of those things which is just really, really important. So if you are, uh, say for example, in the Seychelles, you're fishing for Giant Trevally, and but at the same time you've got your nine weight set up for trigger fish and bonefish, then you need to have some method of being able to carry a fully made up second rod on your person because the guide's gonna be over there somewhere and you, uh, you need to be self-sufficient. Right, most waterproof backpacks, say for example, like this Patagonia one, they come with these, these straps on the outside. Now that's great if you wanna carry a, a rod tube or a rod made up in the tube, but that's not particularly helpful to us. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna concentrate on how you rig up your backpack or how you customize it, if you like, so that you can then carry a second rod and then another thing which I think is really, really important on the flats is hydration. So I always customize my bags so that I can put a camelback inside so that I have a hydration tube running down my shoulder so I'll drink all the time. I find if it's there, then I actually drink from it. So the items you're going to require for this uh, little customization of your backpack are going to be a camelback uni bottle, some web strap, you're going to need your plumbing fitting, you're going to need a good needle and some strong thread. You're gonna need a hacksaw, a bit of wet and dry paper just to tidy it up and make it look nice. A pair of pliers or needle nose pliers, you're gonna use that for stitching because that's much, much easier to do that uh, than try and do it with your fingers, which you will end up cutting. Trust me, I've checked. You will obviously need a rod butt to make sure that everything is as it should be. Let's begin. Let's start with carrying a second rod. It's one of those questions I get all the time, you know, guys who see photographs of people fishing on the flats or fishing, you know, down river systems. How do they carry a second rod? Um, how do they see, because they all see us sort of wandering around with these, what looks like a tank aerial stuck out of the top, which is either your 12 weight or your nine weight or your backup rod. And carrying it is very, very simple. Um, I mean, other than giving it to a guide, which is probably the simplest way to do it. But really, all you're looking to do is you need two points of contact. Um, and I think one of the important things also is to make sure that that rod is hanging up and away from you because then otherwise it's gonna catch the line as you're pulling through. So as you're punching through that cast, the last thing you want is your fly suddenly getting stuck up there. So ideally you want it hanging up and straight because otherwise it's gonna get in the way. A lot of people have different methodology of how you can rig this up. Some people like to put the butt of the rod in the pocket of their shorts and then bring it through the arm and in front and then use a ether foam covered hair twists and, and twist it onto the rod that way. I personally don't particularly like having something coming up in front of me. Um, I want it all behind me so that it's out the way uh, so that it's not going to become an obstruction when I'm casting. Or if you hook a fish and all that line bounces around, obviously it's gonna be the first thing which you're actually gonna get caught up on. Firstly, the rod needs to be on the shoulder which is obviously not the one you're casting with we are going to find a secure position down here on i'm right-handed so on the left side of the backpack and we're going to find something relatively low like uh, the belt strap or if it's a roll top backpack then they have straps that come up the side then i'll stitch it onto the bottom and we're going to take a loop of webbing just just ordinary web strap that you can buy on eBay or something like that. You take your web strap and you make a loop out of it. It doesn't have to be more than probably two and a half to three inches, just enough for you to drop the rod butt into it and you can reach it. You need to be able to access this rod while you're wearing the backpack. You don't want to have to take the backpack off to quickly 
switch from your 9 to your 12 or your 12 to your 9, as an example. And this quick switch can often mean the difference between taking that opportunity and making that cast and not. We're going to stitch that web loop so that it hangs off the bottom. And when we've done that, that's our lower anchor point. That means that the rod will hang behind and it will be out of your way. What I do is I have a, a second web strap here and on that are two clips, two Fastex speed clips. Literally just, again, something you can buy off eBay, the little plastic bits and stuff like that. And I make another little loop and all we're gonna do is in the middle of that, we're gonna stitch that to the grab handle on the back of the backpack. The other thing that I would recommend is that you stitch it underneath it so that it's actually going to go through the grab handle, which just makes it that extra bit secure. So then it will literally sit like that. What that means is when you reach back, you can unclip it with one hand and then you can clip it up behind you. First stage we're gonna do is we're gonna do some sewing. I actually like to double up on the thread, so don't make it too long because otherwise you'll find that it'll knot itself. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put a little bit of a knot on the end just to hold it in the web strap. So the first thing I've done is actually fold that over and stitch it over once over itself. That just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. I'm gonna take our backpack, I'm gonna position our web strap in here. And the first thing we're gonna do is push it through the black strap until you hit the knot. And then you, you'll find it easier to position that on the strap you're actually trying to stitch into. And the way I stitch this is I stitch a square or a rectangle going up the strap in fairly large stitches to hold it in position. Be careful not to stick the needle into the backpack. Once you get towards the end, just make some very close stitches together and then you can do a quick couple of half hitches just to finish it off and lock it down. So there you go. There's your lower securing point all done and that will hold the rod butt. And now we're going to take our second piece of strap with our fast tech clip on it um, and then we are going to stitch that underneath the grab handle. I'm gonna put this roughly in the middle. I'm gonna find that middle point. I'm gonna come in through the back of the strap and you'll find that this one is gonna be a lot easier. So that is our rod carrier, now completed. So then, we have our strap down at the bottom for the rod butt, and then we have our strap at the top. So now we can sling the rod straight over the top of our shoulder. We can take our rucksack and put it on. So we got our chest strap on. You can take your rod and all you have to do is drop straight into your loop here. Reach up and over the top of your head. Take your strap. Clip two buckles together and bang. There it is, and it just sits there. Nice and easy, hanging off the back of your backpack. It's not in the way, it's nice and straight. You can see where it is. And then, as soon as you have that other fish moment, all you have to do is reach up, grab the second clip, unclip it, drop the rod forwards, pop it out the loop, and you are ready to go. So, that's stage one complete. Uh, stage two is the actual fitting of the Camelback hydration bladder so that you can drink on the flats. What I use is I have these uh, thermal camelbacks. Now I like a thermal one because it keeps liquids cold. Uh, so it just means that when you're taking that sip, 
and uh, you're hot and sweaty, you can actually then get a nice cool drink of water. Camelback refer to them as uni bottle. Um, I will leave links uh, in the description below for all of these bits and pieces so that you can go and find them for yourself. We are going to take off this bit and we are going to make a hole in the top left shoulder of the backpack. I know making a hole in a waterproof bag is a little worrying. I must say the first time that I cut into an expensive bag thinking, is this really a good idea? But the system that I have had, I've used on another backpack for probably 10 years and it's been absolutely fine. And what you need to find is a 10 millimeter push fit plumbing fitting that you would normally use on plastic water pipe. And you can find these uh, in most DIY stores, or again, uh, I found this one on, on eBay. We're gonna use a hacksaw and we're gonna cut through the back of that. We are going to use this as a compression fitting. So once you unscrew it, inside you will see there is a rubber O-ring. As soon as you have inserted your pipe that goes through to the O-ring, and then you compress it on both sides of the backpack material, you essentially end up with a completely watertight seal. You can ensure that it is watertight with a little bit of AquaSure or something like that, but um, I haven't actually found that to be necessary and it does mean that then the fixture is utterly permanent. We're then gonna feed the tube coming in through and that will give you a watertight connection into your waterproof backpack. So next we're gonna take our plastic fitting what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this. Inside you will find one plastic washer, then a rubber o-ring which we're going to pull out gently, then there is another plastic washer at the back and then there is a metal one-way grip which you don't need, you can take that out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a hacksaw and we're going to cut through the back of this fitting When you finish, you're going to end up with this section here, which is just one much smaller part. We're just going to use a little bit of wet and dry paper just to clean up the back and make it smooth. So then we're going to end up with one plastic washer, one rubber o-ring, the other plastic washer which will go in on top and then you end up with one sealed unit. Now we're going to figure out whereabouts on the backpack we're going to put it. Now when it comes to looking at waterproof backpacks obviously you don't want to ruin the waterproof integrity of the backpack. Um, they're very expensive at the best of times so the first piece of advice I would give you is don't put it on a seam. You need to make sure that you either have it on one side of a seam or the other side of a seam. If you actually put it through the middle of the seam, firstly it's difficult to cut a hole, secondly you will find that uh, that seam will then begin to go. So in this instance I'm right-handed so this is going to be over the left shoulder and I think probably the best position to put it on is just behind the seam and on that main piece there because then the tube can feed up straight up the back and pop out of there and then come over the left shoulder as if it was a running backpack. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark it out. So there's the middle of the shoulder strap there. So I would put the, pump, the plumbing fitting straight in behind here. So I'm gonna mark that in there. I'm gonna put one center point, which is where I'm gonna make my first incision. Then I'm going to measure out the inside diameter of that fitting which is going to be 12 millimeters. So then I am going to mark out 12 millimeters on my backpack using my central point as my middle point. So there's one side and there's the other. Now I would always cut this slightly smaller than you think it's gonna be first time round. It's always easier to take more material off then put more material back which doesn't exist. So for this we're going to get a really really sharp pair of scissors 
and then we're going to make one small insert straight in the middle and from that point we're going to two three crosses and that'll actually open up the material and from that point you can cut those off so you cut the little triangles and you'll end up with a nice hole so we're just going to slowly widen the hole just with the tips of the scissors we'll test our fitting for size if you make it just just wide enough then you can literally just feed it through and almost screw it in there like that so then it's going to give you a really really tight seal and then all you have to do is take on the second section and screw that down on top of the material and that's going to give you a really tight seal so then when we take our piping from our camelback you will probably find that you'll have to squeeze it up a bit to make it fit through okay so slide that bit down into the base and your rubber o-ring that's the bit that gives you your watertight seal measure roughly where you want your pipe somewhere about there just feed with your fingernails just push that rubber o-ring right in there so it's really good and tight because the tighter it is the better seal you're going to get take the end of your plumbing fitting incidentally actually I quite like to change the tubes on these things on every trip they're not expensive you can pick up a spare tube for about three quid um, you'll find that actually they go a bit manky after a while so there we go we're going to screw that down nice and tight on there put a mouthpiece back on here and then you can just locate your tube through any particular strap that you find convenient pull for size and there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is how you turn a waterproof backpack into a hydration pack now all I have to do when I want to have a drink literally is just feed it straight in and then it's there whenever I need it but at the same time I've still got the integrity of my waterproof backpack I'm afraid I'm just one of those people that likes to customize my stuff um, I like to fit it to how I want it and how I'm going to use it. I always need water and I always need to carry a second rod. So that is how I do it. I'm sure there's plenty of other different ways, um, but I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up on it. Please leave me your comments below if you have got any other methods of doing this for yourself. I'd be very interested to know. And I hope you found that video useful. And uh, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, there'll be plenty more videos like this of useful tips and tricks of things that we've learned while we're out on the water. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot.